Now, the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season is officially underway, and forecasters say it could be a busy one. With the threats of dangerous storms bringing heavy rain and powerful storm surge this season, researchers at Virginia Tech are taking action. They're using deep learning to better predict when and where the flooding could hit. So let's bring in Virginia Tech assistant professor, assistant professor David F. Munoz. He is one of the researchers behind the groundbreaking study. Uh, David, I want to thank you for spending some time here with us today. You're using deep learning to predict flood risk. And for some of our viewers who may be a little unfamiliar with that, what exactly does this mean and how can it help, especially during a hurricane? Thanks, Kiana. I'm glad to be here. To be here. Um, so deep learning is basically a data-driven model that uh, can predict uh, water levels. And it can do that by learning from past storms, including uh, the previous hurricane seasons. And uh, one of the benefits of that is that it can predict those water levels in a matter of min minutes in contrast to the traditional uh, physical base models. I kind of want to talk about that, the models that your team is using and has even developed. How does it work and what does it mean? How does it differ from those traditional uh, flooding forecasting tools that we typically use within our industry? So traditional models uh, rely on physics-based approaches, meaning that they need supercomputers to produce a forecast. Uh, in contrast, the uh, deep learning models learn from data from previous events and they can produce uh, those forecasts, as I said, in a matter of minutes, and even reconstruct uh, the information in areas where data is scarce. Mm, okay, and we have Hurricane Helena. We know just last season, this was an area that was vulnerable to seeing excessive flooding. Now, one of the strengths of your approach is that you can make predictions in areas where there is little to no data. You just mentioned that. How exactly is that possible? So this is possible um, using a concept called transfer learning, which uh, basically says that if you know uh, flow data patterns or conditions in a nearby location, you can use that information to predict or estimate what will happen in areas where data is scarce. So for example, along the US Atlantic coast, there are coastal regions where uh, tide gouge is located 100 miles away. So our model can learn from different uh, tide gauge stations nearby and use that combined information to predict uh, extreme water levels at that location. So, uh, and it can also reconstruct water levels when those tide gauges fail. And one example that we show in, in the research work that we publish is that, for example, in Hurricane Sandy, uh, one of the tide gauges failed. So what we did with our deep learning model is to reconstruct the signal. So meaning that it can also help in conditions where the hurricane is so extreme that uh, the tide gauges that are used to monitor those extreme water levels fail. Mm, okay, and we are in the season now, right? And as we even look ahead, we know that the peak of the season happens sometime between August and September. Is this work ongoing? Is this something that you guys are ready to roll out this season? And what's the long-term goal of your research when all is said and done? So uh, one of the, the possibilities with our model is that for this hurricane season, the 2025, what we expect is to use the forecast from the National Hurricane Center and use that information as an input for our models and forecast extreme water levels along the U.S. Atlantic coast. And uh, the long term of, of my career is basically develop a digital twin model for coastal systems, especially for the Chesapeake Bay, because I'm here located in Virginia Tech. So the idea is that those digital twins can really monitor in near real time what are the flood conditions, also forecast um, flooding based on the National Hurricane Center's forecast, and predict also what if the scenarios that are uh, needed for a flood adapt adaptation and um, weather resilient um, strategies. All right, you guys are working on some pretty cool stuff there at Virginia Tech. And we thank you again for spending some time here with, with us, sharing with us some of your data that you're finding. That's Virginia Tech Assistant Professor David F. Munoz. Thank you again for the updates there. Thank you for having me.